Welcome to the kingdom, I'm the king. We're back with another video. Today we are going to be ranking One Piece characters based on strength. It's going to be based on a lot of things, I'll explain that in a second. Um, just a forewarning though, still a little sick, you know, sniffles, all that. So that's going to be happening. Anywho, uh, here, let me show you the list real quick. Okay, so here's the tier list. Um, I put a couple people in just to give you guys an idea of where people are going to go. Um, yeah, I for those of you wondering how I just changed my clothes, Bro, I promise you I fucking recorded this, and I forgot to move the camera, like, the face cam to, like, the corner, so, yeah, we're doing this all over again. Anyways, um, so the tier list is gonna work like this. It's based on bounties, your actual ranking, um, your level of hockey, your devil fruit, like, there's a bunch of factors that go into this. Some of it is, like, personal opinion and bias, and also there's a key factor with some of the characters being story, I'm gonna explain that in a second. So... Kick things off to explain this first, this first couple people here. First things first, Hayanko is like, Hayanko is like, um, basically pirate captain, like the highest of the high it can go. That's why Roger's here. All three forms of hockey, all three forms advanced. He was the fucking pirate king, highest bounty, like his reputation is there. You can't really say anything. Next, in the second tier, you have Strange. People aren't going to understand this, I'm going to explain it. Strange is basically people who, technically speaking, should be Hayanko or Yonko level. They're kind of in between, but the only reason why they're in between is because they literally don't have the feats to back it up, or there's nothing for me to really go off of, but story-wise, and based on things we've heard about, they should be in this range. So that would be Dragon, leader of the, Revo uh, leader of the Revolutionary Army. We don't know anything about his Delta Fruit, but you don't get the title Most Dangerous Man or Most Wanted Man in the World for no apparent reason. Like He's here for a reason, and we already know the three powers being World Government, um, Pirates, and what do we call it? Welcome to Revolutionaries, and he's the leader of the Revolutionary Army, so that's why he's there. Next, Yonko level, we have Luffy, the main character. That's my guy. Um, he's a Yonko level, literally due to the fact, all three forms of hockey. He has the actual title of Yonko, bounty to back it up. Um, all three advanced forms, broken devil fruit, like, he's here for a reason. He, he already beat a Yonko, he's in the Yonko level. Low Yonko is people like Rayleigh. All three forms of hockey, um, never confirmed they were all advanced. He's able to go... He's able to hold his own against admirals and um, and Yonkos. It would basically like if you're in low Yonko, high first commander. It would take like two of you, like two bird, like two Rayleigh's, two Shiryu's to take on a full Yonko to beat them. You see what I mean? Now the reason why this one is slightly higher because they either have something that puts them a little bit over more feats, something to back it up, right? So Rayleigh being the first commander on Roger's crew, he had to be kind of like that. Like let's be for real, bounty to back it up. Reputation definitely precedes him. Like, um, what should we call it? Kizuru didn't want any smoke with him when he came. Um, when he went to go fight Blackbeard, all he did was flex his hockey. Even though he was old, he said, oh, I probably couldn't beat him if I wanted to right now. And in my prime, I don't know either, but hey, he still wants to come in box. Like, his reputation precedes him, you see? Then continuing on, you have high first commander. Now, you're probably wondering, why is Shiryu there? He has no feats. Exactly. But like I said, story. Here's the thing. Story-wise... That's going to be Zoro's, like, last fight, and he's the first commander of the Blackbeard's crew, so technically speaking, he kind of has to be here. Like, just, that's just where he has to be, you know? Um, King, first commander, he's the first commander on, on, uh, what's his name, Kaido's crew, so he already has the title. Um, he has Armament Hockey, Conqueror's Hockey, Observation Hockey. He doesn't have any of the advanced forms from what we remember, or from what I remember, I should say. Um, he has a broken devil, fr devil fruit, kind of, well, I am going to say broken, it's all right. Um, but his race is rare. That's why he was being tested and experimented on all that type of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, increases his speed, increases his durability, stuff like that. Um, he went against Zoro, who was the first commander as well. Zoro beat him, but keep in mind, Zoro beat him and he was injured. Like Zoro was injured, tired, all that type of stuff, and he still beat him. And if you guys rewatch the fight or reread it, Zoro literally just had to figure out what his what his whole thing was. Once he figured it out, it was pretty much easy for him. So yeah, so he can't go into high first commander because. Like, he wasn't really like that. He faced someone who wasn't really on a Yonko crew yet. You feel me? Uh, second commander, uh, Sanji. Um, Sanji has Armament Hockey, Observation Hockey. Not a confirmed user of Conquerors yet. Doesn't have any of the advanced forms. Um, cool techniques. Holds his own in his battles. Has the bouncy to back it up. He's above a billion. Like, he's, do he's, he's doing the second commander stuff. You feel me? Uh, third commander, Jack, of course. Jack's the third commander on the Beast Pirates as well. Um, which is Kaido's crew. Jack just takes fucking L's. I don't really have anything to go off with Jack, but he's just third commander. I don't have to tell you. Um, then you have people like Frankie, who's like... Like, I wasn't going to go fourth commander, fifth spot. I wasn't doing all that, bro. 
So he's a vice admiral level. Um, this this level is gonna be kind of like there's gonna be a lot of people in here, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna rate everybody here, but he's gonna be in here. Frankie just does Frankie stuff, man. He has no types of hockey, so I can't really put him any higher. I can't say, oh, he's gonna beat so and so, but like, what am I going off of? Um, and then the who cares tier is just basically people who are in the story who are like kind of important, but we're just there to get beat on, or they just sucked. I don't know. Um, so yeah, you got the fishman guy, the knife guy, all, all these people basically suck. All right. Whew, all right, with that being said, let me go back into this. And good thing though, I took a picture of uh, my last list, so I didn't, so I don't just randomly forget or mix and match or whatnot. So starting things off, um, honestly, I, I was thinking of just going like one tier at a time as I work my way down, which makes the most sense. Okay, or I'm kind of just like flip flop back and forth. Keep in mind though, every tier is like close. Like there's close contentions. You could kind of swap if you really want to, but for the most part, this should be pretty accurate. Um, okay, for example, one thing you shouldn't argue about. This right here is Joy Boy. Joy Boy's Hayanko. Dude, lore-wise, that's all we have to go off of. He's supposed to be that guy. Uh, Goldie Roger wanted to be like him, wanted to follow him. People want to follow him. He's supposed to be like that. Most broken devil fruit ever. Come on now. Um, so yeah, that's that. Where's he at? Whitebeard. Whitebeard can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roger back and forth. That's been proven. Um, he takes out people like Odin, who are like low Yonko, high first commander level. Like it's nothing. That's just his thing. Um, on top of that, he was in contention to be Pirate King. Has a bounty to back it up. Broken Devil Fruit. All three forms of hockey. I'm pretty sure all three were advanced as well. So he's pretty much chilling in his high Yonko spot. Okay, let me do something for you guys. First, let me put Mihawk. So we have Mihawk right here. Mihawk is in the strange tier. Let me do one thing for you. Where's he at? Bro, where the fuck is he at? I bro, I just saw him. I promise you, I just saw him. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro, where'd he go? No shot, buddy. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, bro, he's right in the top. I'm stupid. All right, so. Mm. I'm gonna do that. Okay. All three forms of hockey for Shanks. All three confirmed advanced. Has the strongest conquerors hockey we've seen it ever from anybody. For what reason they'll never explain it to us? Because he only gets 37 seconds of screen time. Um. Yeah. Shanks. Shakes that guy, bro. He be one-shotting people who think they're strong enough to come and touch him for some reason. Um, he's going after the One Piece now. He's known as, like, the prodigy. Like, Shanks supposed to be that guy. Now you're probably wondering, then why is Mihawk in Strange? Mihawk beat Shanks. He didn't beat Shanks. They tied. Oh, then he should be in Hayonko, too. I know. The only difference between Shanks and Mihawk, Mihawk has less feats and less showing, and there's no confirmed anything for him besides he has all three types of hockey. That's literally all we can go off of. So I can't really put him anywhere. I'm sorry. Strange is fair. Like like I said, he's on the par with Dragon. He could be here. He could be here. It doesn't really matter. Just know that they're all kind of in the same realm. You feel me? Like, if we get a little more on him, I promise you, I can put him up there. Like, I just don't have enough to go off of. Also, one thing about Shanks, he pulled up to the war and stopped the entire war. He's like, yo, you want to fight? You can fight me. Like, literally everybody there. Blackbeard was there. All the fleet admirals. Everybody was there. You feel me? All right. So, that's that. <clears throat> Let me put Big Mom in. Yonko level. Uh, Big Mom's Yonko level. All three types of hockey. Um, she has advanced armament. We know that advanced conquerors and advanced observation. We're not too sure about that one. Uh, broken devil fruit. If you're afraid of her, um, I put quotes around that because most people, once you get to the top tiers, they aren't afraid of her, so it doesn't really work. Um, yeah, that's big mom. That's pretty much all I have to say about her. Great durability, great speed. She's doing great. Can go toe to toe with the high tiers. Win? No. Go toe to toe? Yes. That's 100% confirmed because she was on par she was on par with Kaido. Excuse me. Um, let me, let me, let me see. Ah, Mr. Deech, Blackbeard, that guy, you know, Zeha ha ha and all that type of stuff. All right, so he's going in Strange. Now, why is Blackbeard in Strange? <clears throat> Blackbeard's a very interesting character. Here's the thing about Blackbeard. In straight up 1v1s, like flat out 1v1s, no interference, no jumping, no nonsense. Straight up, fight me one-on-one. -on -one. 
he doesn't actually have a single dub to his name, except for maybe, um, maybe what's his name, Ace, and even then, like, ooh, like, I, like that's something really just needs that. Um, yeah, he's in a straight up one v one. He never wins. He does have two of the most broken devil fruits ever. He has the bounty to back it up, and he's and um, and he has the Yonko title. However, I can't confirm whether he can beat any of the people here, but I know he's definitely on par with people here. But based on his bounty and based on him having two of the most OP Delphi fruits ever, he has to be in this middle range right here. On top of the thing is his hockey. We know he has all three types of hockey. Again, we don't know if they're all advanced, so I can't say anything. You see what I mean? So yeah, that's how that goes. <clears throat> Another person going to Strange is the Kainu. I'm going to explain a Kainu in a second. Hold on. Because I'm going to do this. And I saw him earlier. Here we go. Okay, so there's a reason why Akainu's in Strange. So you have Garp and Sengoku both in Hayanko. Both of these people are able to go toe to toe with um, the likes of Whitebeard and Roger, who are Hayanko. Um, both of them had all three types of hockey, all three types advanced. Um, Garp was even stronger, like in terms of his hockey usage, than uh, Sengoku was. Sengoku was a fleet admiral. Garp could have been Fleet Admiral, but he turned down the position. Uh, Sengoku has an OP Devil Fruit, but they both have the reputation that precedes them to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all these people here. They're, they earn this ranking, right? <clears throat> Here's the thing. Akainu, story-wise, is supposed to be like one of the later fights, you feel me? And he's currently Fleet Admiral, so technically speaking, he's supposed to be on par with them. That's the thing. And he has confirmed the most destructive Devil Fruit of all time. So... That's that. In terms of hockey, has all three types. Advanced, again, we don't know. So he has to be in the strange tier because technically he should be at the top, but we have to see more. We have to, Dude, he just sits on the chair and cries all the time. Like, what am I going to do with that? You feel me? So yeah, that's that. Um, With that being said, I'm going to do this too. Ready? I got you. Hold on. Yeah, this is going to hurt some people. Not me though, but yeah. Where's he at? Bro, where's he at? What the fuck? No, 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 no. I saw him earlier. Oh, here we go. Okay. Like I said, this is going to hurt some people. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, what was that? What was that flip-flop? Oh, my God. Relax. Kuzan, the reason why he's in Yonko level, um, he, he, technically speaking, he did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akainu three days. Um, wait, was it three days or was it a full week? One, one of the two. I'm, I, I think I got my fight computer. I think it was a full week. But yeah, basically they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. Both went out um, in a really high-diff fight, permanently changed Punk Hazard's um, biome. They did all that type of stuff. Um, he also then fought Garp. Spoilers. He fought Garp. He was fucking boxing. He even fucking won. Won. But yeah. So, in terms of that, he has to be here. Broken Devil Fruit, Logia type, all that type of stuff. Kizuru, on the other hand, Kizuru's weaker than them two. That's been confirmed. On top of the fact that he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Luffy, he didn't win, he was kind of getting beat, it was kind of like a high-diff fight, like I said, low Yonko to Yonko, it's like a high-diff, extreme high fight, but still one of Luffy's favorites, so I can't put him in that Yonko tier. And he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Rayleigh as well, but Rayleigh when he was old, and Rayleigh was still boxing. That's that, let me see who's up next. Ah, uh, this guy, Ben Beckman. Okay. Fuck. Okay, Ben Beckman is a weird case. He's... I'm going to explain this again. He's low Yonko to Yonko. He's in this range here. Again, same with Rayleigh. He can be uh, low Yonko to Yonko. That range too. So I'm put, I should put him a little higher. I'm going to switch him around. Now, the reason for that is... Literally, just based off of lore, he's supposed to be like that. Story-wise, he comes later on. He's the first commander of the Red Hair Pirates, Shanks' crew. That's all we have to go off of. Bounty precedes him. Everything, reputation. He's supposed to be like that. He had Kizu scared for a little bit in, that, in the war for a little bit. He's supposed to be like that. That's all I have to go off of. He comes in later on in the story. Um, Kaido. Kaido's a strange case as well. He can't be Yonko level because for Luffy to beat him, not only did technically Kaido already kill him and knock him out like nine fucking times, but Luffy also had help with like a bunch of other people attacking him. So, like, come on. He was really putting in work. All three types of hockey. All three types advanced. I'd have to put him in high Yonko just to be fair to him, because that makes the most sense. 
OP Delfu, the dev, um, you could only hurt him through fucking advanced armament hockey. The government couldn't even kill him, and they had him captured for a long ass fucking time, experimenting on him and shit. Like, bro, he has to be up here in Hayanko. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, let me let me let me take somebody. Let me take somebody and really disappoint a lot of people and really make a lot of people happy. This guy, Mr. Rob Lucci himself. I'm gonna put him right slightly above Sanji. Let me put it this way. Actually, hold on. Let me do one more thing before I even get here. Okay. And yes, I have Zoro below Shiryu. I'll explain that in a second. So. Zoro beat King after being injured, for one. Two, having barely any rest, being tired after being injured. And then he fought King. And all he had to do to beat King was literally figure out what his whole thing was and beat him. That was literally it. He barely took damage in that fight, right? So that's why he's in high first commander, because King's the first commander, he beat him like it was nothing. He's below Shiryu, because Shiryu comes later on in the story. Or is supposed to come later on in the story, I should say. I don't know. Um, okay. On Egghead, for those of you who read, he fought Luchi. Luchi couldn't beat... L Luchi couldn't beat uh, Luffy. He couldn't beat Zoro. Zoro still wanted to fight him after he already beat him. Jimmy was like, yo, let's pack it up, bro. It's already over. He's like, no, no, no it's not over yet. I'm going to fight him. Like, dude, you already won. Luchi has been taking L since he came on screen after his awakening and all that, like, garbage. He should have fought Sanji. I feel like that would have been a better fight. So that's why I'm putting him here at second commander. Like, top of second commander. Second commander. Like, right at the top. He's not going any higher. Can't put him any higher. I don't give a fuck. Um, with that being said, where's his fucking partner at? This motherfucker. He's weaker than him. He has to go down once here. I really don't give a shit. Okay. So yeah, Kaku's there. Kaku cry about it. I really don't give a shit. All right, let me go here really quick. Ooh, let me, let me, oh, let me hurt some more people's feelings. First off, Rocks has to go into Hayanko, lore-wise, yada, 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 God Valley incident, people fighting him, this, is and that, you know how it goes, okay. <sighs> but let me, let me make some people mad. Okay, so, so, Zoro and Katakuri are kind of, like, interchangeable, literally due to the fact that Zoro doesn't have advanced observation. He has Conqueror's Coding, he has Armament, Conqueror's Hockey, Advanced Armament, I'm pretty sure. Now, Katakuri on the other hand, has Conquerors. He has Conquerors. Really strong Armament Hockey, as we saw when he was going back and forth with Luffy. It was stronger than Luffy's. Um, and he has Observation. He has Advanced Observation as well. A Devil Fruit that performs like a Logia type. Um, what else? A High Bounty, and he's a First Commander. So, realistically speaking, across the board, he's kind of like that. Like I said, King only has Armament, Observation, and I believe conquers but he has no advanced form so again you can't put him above someone else <laughs> chill chill yeah you can't put him above anybody else so he'd have to be here they're interchangeable because i feel like if zora fought him his only issue would be the advanced observation like he'd have a real issue with that Ooh. okay let me double down some more do flamingo yeah do flamingo be here in second commander tier um Sanji would definitely either whoop him currently. I know that for a fact. Again, Doflamingo has all three types of hockey. None of them are advanced. So that's a really good thing on his part. A Devil Fruit where he can repair himself, set up a bird keys. Like it's a, that's like basically indestructible for the most part. But yeah, so he has to be there in second commander. That's fair. Bounty and everything was all there for him. Um, let me see. I'm looking for like a major player. Oh, here we go. Okay, Law. Law as well. Hold on, let me do this. Law. <sighs> Where the fuck is he at, bro? This useless motherfucker right here. Okay, this is going to hurt some people. Hurt some people, help some people. I know, yeah. Uh, hurts me too. <sighs> Law is in high first commander. He's not in low Yonko yet. I'm sorry. You can't, you can't, you can't fight a y Yonko with an awakening and everything and help, right? And then proceed to go fight another Yonko and his crew and then absolutely just get kind of like blasted a little bit. Sorry, he was getting, he was getting washed. I can't lie to you. Um, Because if you keep in mind, if you watch the fight and you read it, Blackbeard wasn't using his left hand the entire time. Like, dude, he was like clowning around with him. Like, another thing why I can't put um, Law any higher. Law doesn't have any of the advanced forms of hockey. We know he has observation. 
Because Observation conquers and Armament, none of the advanced forms, and they're not even that strong because he doesn't even use them like that anyways because his Delphi is just that overpowered. Take away his Delphi, laws in, laws in like deep fucking water, bro. And then you go over to the right one, you got this fucker. Um, gets one shot by actual Yonkos. I, I don't know, he just, dude, uses his Delphi terribly. Uh, he's just a hot mess, if I'm being honest. Um, his, his hockey is nothing to fucking talk about. Yeah, kid. Woo, like, bro, like, dude. I can't say that motherfucker, dude. Like, he has potential to be the one of the best, and he just keeps fucking up. It's annoying. Um, let me see. Let me see what's on my list real quick before I fuck this up. Uh, uh. Ooh, controversial take. Hold on. Yeah, controversial take. I'm gonna put Sabo in the top of first commander. Yeah, I got Sun. Uh, I got Sabo in the top of first commander. Um, flame, flame fruit, um, or the Mara Mara. I think it's what it's called. But yeah, flame, flame fruit for Sabo. All three types of hockey. We don't know if they're advanced yet. We don't have too much information on him. So again, he's just an information card, but he is the first commander of the Revolutionary Army, which is Dragon's whole thing. So technically, he's supposed to be kind of like. If we know more about him, he could technically be like here to here. This range right here. But I'm putting him in the top of here. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting him up here. I don't like fucking kid, dude. I really don't. Like, that's actually a little bit of bias coming out. Dude, I cannot stand this motherfucker. I'll put him here. Based off of what he's going to show later on and what should come, I'll put him high first commander. But yeah, no, I can't. I can't. You know what? Fuck you. There we go. That's better for me. I'm, I'm a little happier now. Yeah, I'm a little happier now. Okay. So that's that. Um... Third commander. Okay, let me do this really quick. Let me just fill this slot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, all these useless people right here. No types of hockey. All their feats come from them fighting like small armies. Like, oh, they really like that. They're really not. Um, and the reason why they're at the bottom of this tier right here is because. Like, three of them together, three or four of them together, I put her twice. Hold on. Three or four of them together, fighting like Kaku or Jack would probably beat them, but one-on-one, -on -one they're losing. Yeah, they don't really have anything to ride home about. Dude, they're like genetics and stuff like that, and experimented on by this clown right here, so that's pretty much all I have. Okay. Um, Jinbei. <laughs> Jinbei's a strange one. Bouncy wise, he's second commander. He has arm in hockey. That's pretty much all we know about him. Um, his bouncy precedes him. Reputation. He was a warlord. And he's really like that. But the thing is, like, you definitely can't put him higher. That's not true. Bouncy wise, he's second commander. And like feats wise, he's kind of second commander. He really holds his own. He doesn't really. He hasn't really broken a sweat yet. But he's stronger than all these people. Again, I don't like Kaku. I don't really give a fuck. Um, so yeah, that's that. Actually, hold on. Let me, here, let me give Kaku some points. We're at the top of the third commander. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. Hold on, let me explore. Okay, Marco. This motherfucker, dude. Okay, so Marco's a strange one. His hockey is like it's strange bro like he never uses it and he can't really say he he has none of the advanced forms that's for sure he has armament we know that observation i guess anything he doesn't have conquerors he never showed conquerors so we don't know his devil fruit's broken that really carries him his bounty precedes him he was first commander on whitebeard's crew like he has to be up here he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with admirals like he was doing his own thing that's all i have he has to be up here <laughs> so yeah that's that Okay. This is gonna this is gonna ruffle some more feathers. Whew. Odin is gonna be a low Yonko. I wanna put him slightly above him. Also, one thing about uh Marco that I forgot to say is he was clowning around with him and Queen at the same time. Like it was nothing. He wasn't even attacking, he was kinda just playing defense and dodging. Like that was literally it. And he wasn't, he was kind of breaking a sweat about it. Like, he wasn't really breaking a sweat, so, yeah. Now, Odin, able to hurt Kaido, 
high bounty. I think it was like two billion actually if you search it up, which is kind of crazy. Um, Oda was doing his own thing, bro. He's the first commander on Whitebeard ship as well. Like he was doing his thing, put in work. Has um, Enma that one sword, and he has like the Heaven Sword too. Like he, he's kind of cracked. Um, is he enough to take on like Mihawk? No, but this range here, yes. Fujitora, um, Observation Hockey, Armament Hockey. We know that. Advanced forms, we don't know. Not confirmed. Broken Devil Fruit. Doesn't really have too much feats to go off of, but he's probably around this range, if we're being honest. Yeah. Oh, and he's not on this list, but Green Bull, the other, the last Admiral, he's probably like... Realistically, he's probably like low Yonko to high first commander level as well. Okay. Time to hurt some more people. Ace is third commander level. Oh, but he was first commander on Whitebeard ship. Yeah, for a little bit. I really don't give a fuck. Um, take away Ace's Devil Fruit. He's kind of trash. Anytime he's on screen, he's usually getting fucked up. The, granted, he went like three days with uh, Jinbei in a fight. whoop de doo I guess. Um, again, Jinbei only has one type of hockey. Like, bro. He's not, he's not being anybody above him or anybody in the first commander tier. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's not winning. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's that. Uh, Ace. Woo. Okay, this fucker right here. Buggy. Okay, Buggy's in second commander. I know people are going to hate me for that one. You put him above Ace? <sighs> Buggy has the... Buggy has a broken devil fruit for one. Hockey, we have no idea at all. We have to assume he has, does have some type of hockey. At least the first three forms, maybe. Actually, I doubt that. Probably just armament and an observation. He's a Yonko level. He has a high bounty. Like, granted, he got most of that from Mihawk and Crocodile, who I'm going to show in a little bit. Like, I can't, like, you can't reach that high and not have, like, literally anything. So, like, I, I just have to estimate second commander. I know some people are like, oh, put him at Yonko. Like, no. Put him lower. No, I just, it's just, it's weird. I can't really put him nowhere. With that being said, though, Crocodile... Where did he go? There you go. Where was he at? Oh, same boat. Okay. Crocodile. Um, if he's not fighting someone who knows his weakness, he's kind of chilling. He has armament hockey, observation hockey. Went toe to toe with Doflamingo, so yeah. High bounty as well. He's with them. Okay, now to start filling out the rest of the list. Another high first commander, I think the last one actually, is Gabon. Where the fuck did he go? Um, here we go. So yeah, Gabon is high first commander. He's below... Um, he's below Rayleigh. Um, he was on Roger's crew as well. He was Roger's second in command. So yeah. Based on stature is why he's here. Pretty sure bouncing all that in there too as well. Where the fuck did he go? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me do this really quick. What the fuck? There we go. Okay. Diamond Jozu. Cannot be anywhere past second commander. I'd probably put him here. Um, Realistically, anytime he's on screen, he's a waste of space. He has a good devil fruit, but it's not that good. Because everybody has hockey, so no one gives a shit. Um, pretty sure he has armament hockey, and that's pretty much all he has going for him. Woo! Like, that's, that's all I can fucking say about that one. Yamato's interesting case. I'd say first commander level. Um, able to fight Kaido for a little bit, do actual damage to him. That's all she really has going for her. Um, yeah, that's, that's literally it. She can't be anybody above her, though. That's the thing. There we go. Okay. Um, I saw him earlier. Oh, here we go. Okay, Lucky Rue. Um, wait, is he the first in command? No, he's second in command. Okay, based literally just based on story wise, um, Lucky Rue technically is like high first commander. He's he's Shanks is second in command. Same with, well, no, not same, hold on. Yasop is, like, first commander level. 
That's technically Shanks' third in command. So yeah. Um. Boa Hancock. Holy crap. Boa's in first commander level. Um, her bounty definitely backs her up. But her problem is she really has no types of hockey at all. Okay, well, okay, armament, I guess, but and conquers, of course. And probably just base observation, but no advanced forms. And her her hockey's not really that good. Take away her devil fruit, and she's like one of the like weakest characters on this entire list. Well, this like area here, due to the fact that her Delphi is just so OP because everybody she faces is a fucking dude. And she's just beautiful already. So you look at her, you're pretty much cooked. Like, that's literally fucking it. Take that away. She's always getting boxed. Like, dude, she went to go fight fucking um, Blackbeard, dude. Blackbeard touched her once. Took away her fruit. Dude, she looks stupid. Like, she, dude, she's getting fucking packed. Well, with that being said, though. Where'd he go? Hold up, 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 hold up. Here we go, this guy. Uh, I'm gonna put him like here, here, here. Kobe has yet to prove to me that he can. First off, he went to go like fight Bo, I guess, for a little bit. Wasn't really going his way. Um, but anyways, he he hasn't really shown that he can do anything to any of the people above him. We know he has all the types of marine um, martial arts, like the shave, the pistol, all that other bullshit. Um, and the skywalk and all that stuff. But take that away. Well, not take that away, but that's all he really has for him. No devil fruit. Nothing really to go off of. Besides, he went he went up a little bit with Boa, so he can't really... He didn't really beat her or anybody above him, so I can't really give him anything. He's one of those characters. Um, okay, Brooke. Brooke. Based off of lore, um, where's the other motherfucker, dude? This motherfucker, this motherfucker. Okay, so these two right here, these two, um, Axan Morgan and this other fucker, um, literally just based off of lore, they're up here. That's really the only it. Rook's here because his Delph Root's good. He knows how to use it. He knows how to use his sword. Take the, um, not take that away, but he has no types of hockey, so I can't really put him any higher. Um, his bounty's not really on par or higher than anybody above him either. So, yeah. Again, same with Frankie. There's no, they know what they bring to the table and what they can do. Um, Virgo has good arm in hockey. That's all he really has going for him. He didn't really show anything that he could be anybody above him. And these two fuckers are based off of Lori, like I said. Um, Usopp can take down a Vice Admiral. I know that. He's definitely above these two, though, for sure. <laughs> same with Nami as well. Also, Chopper is probably in this three spot, realistically. Monster Point Chopper will beat anybody behind him. Um, especially if Chopper is actually trying. He mostly does support now. That's why you don't see him do much. But yeah. Robin, however. I feel like Robin, if she gets hockey, you can put her higher. But I feel like the bottom of third commander is definitely fair. Her Death Fruit's OP and she puts in work. That's all I have to say. This lady, can't remember her name. She's definitely like... Top of Vice Commander, if I'm being honest. Um, like I said, some of the people in Vice Commander, they're like in this like fourth commander, fifth commander spot, and I don't really have spots for that because I don't really care that much. But yeah, they'd be around like here. She'd be around like here somewhere. Because she was playing in work. Um Yvonne Cobb's interesting. I'd say second commander too. Yvonne Cobb, most, again, mostly does support. Doesn't really show too much. We don't know any types of hockey, so we can't really go too much of anything. That's why. Oh, this motherfucker. Burgess has to be... Hold on. Burgess. Hold on. Him. I'm looking for someone. I assure you. Okay, yeah. Burgess is technically like... Nah, nah. Who am I lying to? Yeah, Burgess is around... Here, right here. Uh, Burgess has really good hockey. We know he has arm and hockey, observation hockey. He mostly uses he mostly uses um, arm and hockey for the most part, and he has like that strong, strong fruit as well. Um, other than that, we don't have too much to go off of. His bouncy is definitely second commander range. Um, that's pretty much it for him, if I'm being honest. Lore wise, like story wise, we know he's probably gonna fight Sanji when the time comes. So I guess I should put him like one tier higher. But thing is, like, my bad. 
in terms of um like positioning on Blackbeard's crew, it's Shiryu, Van Ogre, then him. So yeah. So technically, he might fight Jinbei. Actually, I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um. Okay, Caesar. Caesar realistically is like vice admiral level. Um, the only reason why he's above Frankie and all them is none of them have hockey to hurt him. That's literally it. He's a Lolia type with the gas, gas fruit, like poison, removing air from certain areas. She would beat him for sure, but he can't beat anybody above him though. That's the thing. Well, except for maybe Robin because again hockey. But other than that, he doesn't really. He doesn't really fight either. Like you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Arlong is also Vice Admiral level. He's probably like... Actually, you know what? I know what? I'm going to upset some people. Nami using Zeus um, or current current Usopp will definitely one-shot uh, Arlong. That's real. I know people don't like to hear that one, but that's real. <laughs> um, Anel. Anel has to be in third commander. Um, I know people are like, oh, but, but that's unfair. Um, Anel could have been great. If he didn't face Luffy first. Yeah, I know. I know. But we can't see it. We know he has um, observation hockey and he has a Logia type with his lightning. He's putting in work. Um, that's all we know about him. I can't really put him any higher because that's all we have to go off of. That's rough, man. Ors is probably like the bottom of third commander as well. Mostly because he's just big as fuck. That's really all this motherfucker has going for him. Um... If she touches you, you lose. Um, if she touches you, you lose. He's probably like right around. Could he be Chopper? I put him like right around here. Yeah. Okay. I don't even want to touch this dude, but I know he's somewhere like. Actually, no, I'm going to put him. You know what? Yeah, I got you. You're going here. Lore wise, story wise, something like that. Sure. I know some people are like, oh no, put him at the top. Take it easy. <laughs> what am I looking for now? Okay. Uh, Vice Admirals. This would be a cool fight. I don't know why. Them two fighting would be pretty cool. I'm putting him like here though. Her sorry ass. Probably like fucking way back here. Um. Yeah. It pretty much should be about it. Hold on. What am I missing? <laughs> oh. Fucking. Okay. Hold on. Kuma. Kuma's around... Definitely higher than these two fuckers. Uh, Kuma's hockey is questionable to us. He has a really great devil fruit. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all we have on Kuma. And we do know um, he's technically second or third in command for uh, Dragon. So he has to be somewhere up here. So that's fair. Okay, Cracker is going to be at like... Cracker realistically is probably like right here. If I'm being honest. Um... Yeah, Cracker can't beat Ace. I should hold up. You know what? Maybe. I can see him being Ace. Um, he has a good Devil Fruit. Um, Arm in Hockey, we know that. Can it be Kaku? I don't think so. Kaku would probably speed blitz him, if I'm being honest. But yeah, he's he's right around there. Okay, Gekko Moria. Gekko Moria, lore-wise, being on a special crew, Roxas crew, and all that type of stuff. I'd say he's probably like right around this area. Take away his devil fruit, he's kinda he's kinda trash. Um yeah. Hockey's unconfirmed too, so yeah, I'm sure leaving there. Magellan kind of in the same boat. We didn't see enough about him. Take away his devil fruit. What is he really offering? I have no idea. Um but his devil fruit is overpowered. That poison really does fuck with people. Smoker went toe to toe with Ace, he has to be around. I put him around here though, cause he has he has hockey, um, he has Armin hockey, observation hockey. Doesn't have conquers, has a Logia type, but anytime he's on screen, he's fucking losing. So what am I going off of? Bluno, definitely in. I should know. Bluno is probably like currently. Bluno is probably like. <laughs> Damn, Bluno fell off. Yeah, he's probably right around here. If I'm being honest. That's rough. And I feel like this isn't right either. Oh, hold on, let me go. 
Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. One more. There you go. Okay, that's about right. Okay. Um, who else did I want to rank? What are they at? Uh, single okay, this motherfucker, that motherfucker, this motherfucker. Oh, uh, her. Whether like snow, snow, fruit, or powder, powder, whatever you want to call it. Take it away, trash. Um, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Oh, Hawkins. Okay. I'd like to put him in Who Cares, but Hawkins technically is like. <sighs> he's technically like third commander level. He just has a good fruit. No types of hockey. Anytime he's on screen, he's losing. I, like, that's pretty much all he has going for him. But with that being said, that's probably like. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. With that being said, this is pretty much the full list. We got High Yonko, Strange, Yonko, Low Yonko, High First Commander, First Commander, Second Commander, Third Commander, Vice Admiral, and who gives a fuck? Who? Sorry for being sick, y'all. I'm still working on that. But with that being said, that's the full tier list. Let me know if you guys agree with it in the comments. Who would you change? Who would you switch? Stuff like that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.